the local natives say, it takes five generations to be at one with the place. This is our home. As second generation, I'm fortunate to have grown up here, living off the land, and thankfully now, Uncle Bird to the third generation. I went to school for environmental studies and outdoor recreation. Actually grew up in the woods planting trees and thinning and later became a wildland firefighter where I'm an engine boss. For my first 10 summers in the Met Howe, I became a fire lookout, monitoring fire weather, communicating with firefighters and so forth. The 55 mile long Met Howe Valley is embraced by North Cascades National Park and three wilderness areas. Its human population of 6,000 shares this remarkable watershed with two wolf packs, bears, eagles, wolverines, and the state's largest migratory deer herd. The Methow Valley is one of very few communities that are demonstrating that recreation, if it's done in an ecologically sustainable fashion, can contribute to a healthy year-round local economy. But our backyards are within the project areas, and what's planned is frightening. The Forest Service has designated nearly 200,000 acres to be logged across our valley in the next 20 to 30 years. Uh, what we have here is a Forest Service project that was designed to reduce wildfire risk. And as you can see, they took out the fire-resistant trees and they left a whole bunch of slash on the ground. And uh, from my knowledge, I know for fact that this is gonna make fire danger actually a little bit worse. Naturally ignited wildfires replenish the soil, thin out ground fuels, and foster the growth of many species of plants and flowers that is not replaced by logging. look at fire here, fire is just a part of living in the valley. It's a part of living in the mountains. You know, for us to think that we're going to control fire by cutting trees and clearing out the canopy is just, we need to work with fire and be a part of nature. Hi, my name is Michelle Schaefer. I grew up on this land that I'm standing on. I've been in the valley for 50 years and I chose to come back after college to become a mom and raise my four kids here and as a teacher and as a person who reads a lot of books and talks about taking care of nature, I can't with a good conscience not stand up and speak out and be a part of this process of taking care of our forests. So every day I keep joy in my walk, love in my talk, peace in my one of the most special things about being a part of this valley is that, you know, we're all in it together. When I was a little kid, we worked on the sawmill and we built each other's houses. So we're not against thinning and we're not against logging. It's just implementing a plan with the whole valley in mind so that we have an ecosystem that's left intact for generations to come.